like what is Christmas about a selection box. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I do slightly look as though I have a neck brace on or something. Luckily, no, I haven't been in a car accident, but for some reason, this jumper, the neckline on it, I mean, it's a cute little boxy fit, so I'm here for it, but the neckline on it honestly looks like I've got a neck brace on, but I've just decided to go ahead and wear it anyway. But as you may tell from the title, I'm a little bit late to this trend, a little bit like two weeks too late almost but today i've got a what i got for christmas video i had some time off like for christmas and new year because obviously this is like my job so i just wanted a bit of time off um which is why this is a little bit delayed and i was also in an area whether to film this video and then i thought yeah i obviously decided that i was gonna film it so yeah i thought i'd film this video today a little bit late like i said but i'm still seeing a few people posting there what i got for christmas videos now so it's okay but yeah that is what is today's video it's what i got for christmas i'm just gonna get on with it um i'm not gonna bother doing a disclaimer because obviously like i feel like everyone knows these videos aren't meant for bragging or anything why is my hair doing that so i'm not gonna bother doing that if you think i'm bragging then i'm not there we go <laughs> so yeah that is what is today's video i'm just gonna get on with it we have the presents over here um, yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling now i'm gonna get on with the video first things first i got a new pair of trainers and i am obsessed with these i honestly i absolutely love them i've been wanting these trainers for so long um but they were out of stock literally everywhere i would check the shoe like every shoe shop i would check online every single day multiple times a day for like one or two months to see if they'd come back in stock and finally they came back in stock so i got them for christmas these are from my mum and dad and i'm obsessed with them so these are the new balance 530s or 530s 530s whatever you want to call them and i absolutely love them so this is what they look like they're like a white they're the white and blue color basically so they're a white and blue trainer they're like a chunky dad trainer i feel like these are very these are giving me right princess diana vibes you know like the princess diana sporty look vibes that is what these are giving me um they're very much a classic sort of chunky trainer they're not too chunky but they're a bit of like a dad trainer do you know what i mean like these are a classic like i don't know i don't actually know how to describe them but i love them and you can see them thank god this isn't a podcast because honestly the way i try and describe things is awful at least you can see them this is them i obviously have the other one but it's just in the box and we don't need to see both because they're the same but that is my first present and i'm obsessed with them then for my brothers i got two tote bags one from each of them i've got two older brothers by the way fun fact um both of these i asked for i'm obsessed with them i feel like i'm gonna say i'm obsessed with so much in this video but i just am so apologies in advance but yeah i got these two. Oh my god my hair it's really annoying me today so the first one i got is this one this one i've literally wanted for ages um but it's quite pricey like it's not pricey but it kind of is for how small it is and stuff if you know what i mean so it's just been one of those things i've put off buying so i asked for it for christmas and my brother got me it and it's this little mini little canvas tote bag and on it it says left my louis at home i don't have a louis i will do one day but i don't have a louis at the moment but we can just pretend who who needs to know that apparently all these people on the internet that i've just told but you know what i mean so it's got the two little handles and then it has got this like longer handle inside and then it's got like a little pocket inside as well it's just like a cute little tote bag and i thought like as a little beach bag um things like that i just thought it was adorable i absolutely loved it and then the other one is the complete opposite end of the spectrum so this is like a little mini one and then this one is an absolutely giant one um and it says everything on it because you could literally fit everything including the kitchen sink in this because this bag as we can see here is absolutely giant but i thought it was like a going away for the night maybe five nights so you could probably fit in here like a overnight bag or like a gym bag um i originally saw this at hot pod yoga they had like a little christmasy market at my hot pod yoga and they had a christmas version of this bag which said merry everything in red and i was so tempted to ask for that one but then i was like i can only really use that one month of the year whereas this one i could use all year round so i got the normal one or like the non-christmasy one instead but that is where i saw this bag and i thought actually like for hot boy joe this would be really good it would fit my towel in and everything um for a lot of things this bag would be handy grocery shopping do you know what i mean um we have these giant handles on it i love it i just love how big the font is and every <laughs> and everything get it and everything absolutely love it um and then inside she's just huge she's giant this is from the brand alphabet bags by the way 
um, which I think is somewhat local to me, although I don't think they were, actually that's such an uninteresting story. I think they basically are local to me at the moment, but they weren't originally based here, so technically, do you know what I mean? Anyway, it's a cool bag, I liked it, there we go. Carrying on in the box of presents, I got this, this is from my mum and dad as well, um, this is the James Patisserie book, because who doesn't love James Patisserie? If you love baking, you are probably gonna love James Patisserie, you're gonna love her recipes, I baked them before, um, so my mum got me this, which I thought was such a good present, I didn't actually ask for this, but like, do you know when you open a present you're like that's clever like that makes sense for you to have got me that does that make sense and this book looks so nice there's so many like different things in here there's a whole section for donuts i mean sign me up we all know my love for donuts so the fact that there's a whole section here like it's just meant to be um but yeah there's so many different little bakey bakey bits i've opened it on the oatmeal raisin cookies one though which is not the most exciting one it doesn't really show the book off that well but there's a lot in here. If you want it, it'll be on Amazon. There you go, James Patisserie. Little bit of promo there. Um, yeah, cute little book. I love, I love it. I love getting a book, to be honest. I'm, I'm turning into a bit of a bookworm. I read four books last month. Hello, that's quite impressive. Quite, like, geeky in a way as well. Because, obviously, my job is on my phone pretty much all the time. When I want a bit of downtime, I need something else to do that isn't on my phone. I don't need to tell you my life story, do I? This is, this is what I got for Christmas. This isn't a life story i literally look like i've broken my neck like do you see what i mean then i got this this is so random right but i actually asked for this which is such a random thing i feel like this is such like a little classic stocking present but i saw this on an instagram ad and i was like oh my god i really want that and then i watched someone else's what i got for christmas the other day i think it was katie hopkins and um, who's one of my friends on youtube and she did the exact same thing she saw it on an instagram ad and she asked for it i'm pretty sure that's true if i'm lying katie i'm sorry but i swear you said that in your work on christmas anyway this is the batiste i'm telling you my life story aren't i i'm such a life storyteller um in the most uninteresting way this is the batiste overnight deep cleanse dry shampoo and i was just like this sounds incredible this could be an absolute like marketers scam in the fact that this is just like normal dry shampoo and they've just packaged it differently but this sounded amazing like you just put it in your hair overnight and you wake up with fresh hair and it's meant to like detoxify your hair while you sleep apparently and i just like the packaging as well so i got that i haven't tried it yet i'll let you know if it's any good it might just be like normal dry shampoo like i said but i'm excited to try it then from josh um, our main present to each other this year was a trip to paris and we were meant to be going on the 20th of december and getting back on the 23rd so we were meant to be doing like a christmasy trip away to paris um but we didn't end up going because you can't go to france and blah, blah 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 so we moved it to april i think instead so i will be vlogging it whenever i go but that was josh and i's main christmas present to each other this year we just thought let's go away somewhere so then to go with it he just got me like a little bit of other you know just like some things to unwrap so first off he got me this which i was like oh my goodness this do you know what i mean like I was excited about this because I was like, this is well thought through. And basically, when you scan this Spotify thing, it takes you onto the Mamma Mia soundtrack on Spotify because on Sunday, Josh has taken me to go and see Mamma Mia at the theatre, which I'm so excited about because who doesn't have a little bit of ABBA? I am so excited. And also, Josh's mum has seen it and she said it's incredible. So, even more excited for that. That's I love getting, like, experienced things. Do you know what I mean? So, we've got that. And then he just got me a few little other bits to unwrap. First off, some fine liners. Might seem a bit random, but this is actually such a thoughtful present. When I opened it, I was like, that's bizarre. And then when he explained his reasoning behind it, I was like, that's really cute. So, basically, there's just 10 different coloured fine liners in here. And he says, like, with my, like, with what I, like, with, with my day-to-day -day life, I write, like, notes of what i want to get done every day i do a lot of planning i'm very much a writing list sort of person he was like i thought that would be really handy and i was like that is quite a thoughtful present so you have some fine liners <laughs> and then um i also got some pink smarties some white chocolate buttons which i have started to eat and then somewhere in here there's a little where is it somewhere in here is a little white chocolate reindeer but i can't find him at the moment and then kind of following on from the fire liners my brother got me this present which wasn't actually technically a christmas present but a couple of days before christmas he locked me out because i've lost my car keys don't know where they are i've literally had them like not had them for like three weeks um and he hadn't put the spare key back so i then couldn't get in the house so as a i'm sorry for locking you out present he got me this little desk pad which i don't know if you can see what that says on it but it's just like a little to-do list type thing and he was like i thought that'd be really handy for your job and i was like oh my goodness he is really thoughtful as well and i thought with the fine liners that josh got me and my little desk pad of my to-do list and stuff that would work really well together so i thought i'd show it because it kind of tied in with the fine liners so that is that then before i forget i got a new phone case i feel like i'm gonna forget to say this because it's like on my phone if you know what i mean but it's just this like gray um like crocodile almost is it mm. 
it's like a pebbly faux leather phone case and it says georgie on it in silver and i thought it's really sweet and that is the phone case there we go before i forget <laughs> then i got these two tunnelogist bits again i asked for this most of the things i got i did ask for um and i am so excited to try this this is the tunnelogist instant tan and illuminator um and then i got the brush to go with it and basically i don't know if you you might know who i'm talking about i think her name's amelia she's a girl on tiktok and every time she does her makeup she puts this down her neck first and then she does her makeup and basically it's like an instant tan it dries straight away so you can put it on it'll give you color like you don't have to wait for it to develop and you don't have to wash it off because it doesn't transfer on your clothes which to me sounds like an absolute dream so basically if you like put your makeup on and it's looking a little bit darker than your neck or like you know like sometimes like fake tan wears off on my face quicker than it does on the rest of my body or whatever you can just put this on if you're about to like run out of the house and you're going to be tanned and i love that because i sometimes do not want to have to wait six hours to put a tan on develop it and then wash it off before going out and if you're going out in 20 minutes and you realize that you've got patchy tan or you've got a pale neck in comparison to the rest of your body chuck this on and you're good to go do you know what i mean like this to me i feel like it's gonna be a lifesaver and then i don't know if i've explained that at all very I don't know if I've explained that very well at all, but I hope you know what I mean. And then this brush um, looks really cool. And this is what she uses to apply it. So it's just this little like kabuki brush. Um, it says Tanologist on it and it's like really soft and it's got like a little bit of a curved edge. And you just, you know, brush that down the neck. That's going to blend in lovely. So we have that. Big fan. Excited to try that. I feel like this literally could save my life in a way do you know what i mean i did very kindly get sent two advent calendars that is actually four i did get sent two advent calendars this year one from beauty works and one from boohoo which i absolutely loved opening throughout december i'm not going to show you everything that i got in the advent calendars because we would be here for ages but i just thought i'd show you what i got in days 24 on both of them because they were so good so in my boohoo advent calendar i got this which i have been wanting to try for so long and i was so happy when i opened it it's the bondi sands aero um like fake tan foam and i I am so excited about this and I actually couldn't believe it when I opened it like that is such a good like advent calendar gift and then for my beauty works one on day 24 I got this which is beauty works 10 in 1 miracle spray again giant size bottle like these are both full size bottles so thank you very much to beauty works and boohoo for sending me your advent calendars over I absolutely loved it and I just had to show you the little 24 um presents that I got not the 24 presents the presents on day 24 that I got because I'm I just think they're amazing then of course I had to get a selection box like what is christmas about a selection box and i got this galaxy one i was actually with my dad in bnm when he was doing like a little bit of like stocking filler almost like christmas shopping so i did kind of pick out the things i wanted he was like i'd rather you just pick what you wanted so i decided to get a galaxy selection box this year he got my brother's oh one of them he got a reese's and one of them he got a cadbury one but i decided to get a galaxy one because there was just a lot in here that i was feeling there's like cookie crumble we've got two ripples and i love a galaxy ripple so we have a selection box need i say more no and then another thing for my dad my parents do like joint presents and then they also do like separate presents as well does that make sense i don't know um i got this which is a cute little christmas sign i'm so excited to put this out next year it says candy cane lane and like my christmasy theme is very like gingerbread housey because it's sort of neutral with like candy canes and stuff so this i thought would fit in so well and it's just this little wooden sign and i thought that that was adorable and i love it and it's a nice subtle christmas decoration and I'm a big fan of it. So we have that. Then I got a few beauty bits. Um, again from my mum and dad. So first off we have the John Frieda Volume Lift Root Booster. Um, you just like spray this into your roots. And it's meant to give more volume. And I always want more volume in my hair. Like I literally. I feel like every single year for Christmas. I get volume hair products. Because I ask for them. Because I just want to try them all. So we have that. And then along the same sort of lines. I got two of these. Because mum said they were on offer. So it made sense to buy two. Which I don't blame her. I love it. I'll happily have two. I haven't tried these before though. But you get a lot in them and these are the vo5 thickening powder so you just like dust it in your hair like this imagine if the lid wasn't on then that would not be good yeah you'd like dust them in your hair and they're super super light like these are full of product but they're only seven grams because it's like talcum powder it's not talcum powder but it's light do you know what i mean it's light like talcum powder so i thought this would be good for like putting in my handbag or something little whilst i'm out somewhere and then i've got a nice bit of volume and i have two of those which is a lovely lovely present there we go and then i also got this which i used the spray of this to fake tan my face um and it was running out so i wanted a new one so mum got me the serum one which is blah, blah. this is a saint Tropez self tan 
bronzing water serum i haven't tried this before like i said i use the water and i absolutely love it and this is the same but it's the serum and i'm very excited to try it then from my grandma i just got a box of hand creams and also some money with family we just sort of do money really we don't really do presents but my grandma always gets us a little something to unwrap so these are just some hand creams which did i say body butters or did i say hand creams these are a little box of hand creams which i thought was really sweet i don't know where the little white chocolate reindeer is that josh got me because i'm sure i put it in the box a minute ago but it's not here so maybe it fell out but it was like a little milky bar white chocolate reindeer if you know what i mean it was cute i haven't eaten it yet i've been saving it for the video and now i've not even got it to show it but anyway and then lastly i've just got a few chocolatey bits so i have some of these pod things um these are some snickers pods and these are imported from australia i think but they had them in bnm and they look nice and then i have this which is some galaxy cookie crumble spread because that sounds delicious and then slightly controversial controversially controversial controversially is that even a word slightly controversially i got these for christmas which i feel like is somewhat illegal but i saw them in b&m when dad and i went in there like i said and i was like oh you could get me them because i would like them but it's illegal that these are even in the shops at this time of year and it is some mini eggs things i actually feel so bad like i feel like i could get cancelled for the fact that i'm showing mini eggs and what i got for christmas video and i do slightly agree with that but B&M was stocking them in December, which again, should be illegal because we hadn't even had Christmas at this point, but oh well. So I got the mini eggs chocolate bar, which I got last year, and then I just got a pack of classic mini eggs because you can't go wrong with a pack of mini eggs. Do you know what I mean? So there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think that is everything that I got for Christmas. Um, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. If I have, I apologise to the person that bought me it, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's it for my what I got for Christmas video. If you want another what I got for Christmas video, there will be basically what i'm trying to say is my 21st birthday is in two weeks today which is kind of crazy and very stressful because i was thinking we were going to be in a lockdown so i hadn't planned anything to do for my birthday because i was like i'll just celebrate my birthday another month and now it's looking like we're not going to be in lockdown so i'm like oh my god i need to get my birthday planned because it's my 21st and i don't want to not be doing anything for it so that's slightly stressful so that is my whole plan for the day tomorrow literally to plan my birthday um but as i was saying if you want like another what i got for video there will be one coming up soon probably i probably will do what i got for my birthday i think um so make sure you subscribe to see that because that'll be coming in a few weeks um and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i shall see you at some point soon another one bye